Hey everybody, it's Anchorman here from the Inner Circle Network here with this man here. This wonderful <laughs> man here. <laughs> uh, Mike Chapman, lead designer on Sea of Thieves. All right, so um, Sea of Thieves. So first of all, we, uh, we got to see it yesterday in the briefing, a good, long, playable demo kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So um, uh, I know a lot of people are thinking it's more of like an MMO kind of game. Yep. Uh, but uh, you were telling us earlier like the, um, it's like an acronym for swag. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So wh 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 how would you describe it to the gamers? What kind of game is it? Yeah, so um, I mean... I, I don't. I don't consider it an MMO. Um, I think when people think of MMOs, they like the the mechanics are normally quite abstracted. Mm -hmm. um, they're not not really going for like, that real sense of immersion in the world. Uh, for us, uh, we're building a, a shared world adventure game. I mean, that that's what we believe the game is, and it just so happens that the, the acronym for that is Swag. So when we when we accidentally found that out, we just we completely adopted it. We absolutely love it. But yeah, it's a it's a essentially a cooperative adventure game where. Mm -hmm players can get lost in this pirate world, live this pirate fantasy and crew it with your friends, crew it with other people, go on adventures as pirates on these pirate ships. It's just this like really immersive kind of adventure world that we're building for players. That's great. I, I know I, a lot of people have been really looking forward to this game. And so what made you guys think pirates to go into that in particular? Because it's been uh, Rare's kind of like tried out a little bit of everything. Yeah. And so just why, why pirates? It's a great question. I mean, it, it, funny enough, if you if you look back at uh, a lot of like, classic rare games, uh, there's like there's so many pirate references in there. I think like just rare has always had this affinity for pirates anyway. Um, like myself personally, like growing up, um, you know, um, like playing some of those classic games myself. Like you know, when I was a kid, like um, uh, playing Monkey Island as well and playing rare games, and to be at rare making a pirate game is so cool. But to answer your question, I think when we thought about um, like how we can like build this like ultimate cooperative adventure game I think pirates are, like just the, the perfect expression of that where like being on a crew with other players working together and having that sense that we're bonded together as a crew and it's us against the world it's us against this world of unknown dangers and emergency encounters where every time you play something different can happen but, like pirates just seem to be the perfect expression of that and I mean not only that everyone loves pirates I mean we want to bring this game to a broad audience and serve a whole range of different player motivations so like, and pirates are cool everybody loves pirates I oh, love definitely. pirates yeah. <laughs> Oh man, I, we have had a great deprivation of pirate games, and this looks like it's gonna be the perfect one yeah. for everyone to get involved back into. Yeah. Uh, so, other question, last question. Sure. When are you guys looking to release? So we're we're actually we're not talking about dates, um, and that's mainly because we're 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 building that core experience. We 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 know we've got this fantastic, ambitious concept where you know players are playing together and there's serving all the different player motivations. Our goal is really to get it into players' hands as early as possible. Yeah. And you you saw the first um, the first kind of like milestone of that in the briefing where oh, we invited fans over to Rare. And we got them to play the game for the first time. We didn't like tell them anything. They knew they were playing a pirate game. They knew what Sea of Thieves was, obviously, mm -hmm. but they, we didn't give them tutorials. Didn't tell them how to play. And they were out there having adventures, sailing the ship within like five to ten minutes. It was just a, an amazing, magical moment. So we want to continue that. We want to get the game into real players' hands, and they just see their feedback, see the things they want to do. You know, are they gravitating more towards combat? Are they are they looking for more quests? Are they want to fight more mythical creatures? Just just to see what they're how they're playing in that real world and just adapt the game based on their feedback. All right, uh, that's absolutely great. Thank you very much for coming on the show. We love to have welcome. you on uh, Tick Podcast. Uh, we just love to have you guys on. Oh, great. Uh, so uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Absolute pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.